Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can download and install Kali Linux in your Android phone. So first of all, you have to download the Termax app in your Android phone. So if you have already downloaded, then don't need to download it again. So once you download the Termax app, we have to download an another app. Then open your browser. In browser, type NetHunter KEX app and you will see the first link and click on that link and it will take you to the store of NetHunter. So from this, you have to download this app which is NetHunter KEX. So scroll down, you will see a download link for this app. So as you can see here, click on this download app and it will start downloading the KEX app of the NetHunter. So once it is downloaded, install the app. So I have already downloaded the app, so I will own download it again. So once it is downloaded, you will see this app icon. So after you download this NetHunter KEX app, now we have to open the Termax. So if you are using the Termax for the first time, we have to do some settings, type Termax Setup Storage. So in my case, it says the storage directory already exists. So in your case, it will only show you for the first time if you are using the Termex. So I will just type Y and press enter. So it will basically create a storage for the Termex in your SD card. And also it will show you a pop-up where you have to allow the setting that the Termex want to access your storage for storing the data of the Termex. So after that, we have to install the package which is wget. So for that type pkg install wget. So as you can see the wget package is already installed in my phone. So if you are installing the package for the first time, it will take some time to install. So once the package is installed, now we will download Kali Linux in our Android phone. So for that type wget and after that type hyphen o and followed by the name, I will give the name as Kali. So after that, we have to paste the link of Kali Net Hunter. So once you paste the link, just press enter. So as you can see, it successfully downloaded the package of Net Hunter. And after that, type ls and you will see the file name as Kali. Now we have to change the permission of that file. So to make it executable. So type chmod and plus x and after that type Kali. So press enter. Now if I type ls, so you can see that the file color got changed, which means that now we can execute this file. So for executing type dot forward slash and after that type the name of the file and press enter. So now it shows what image do you want to download of Kali Linux. So I want to download the full image of Kali Linux. So I will type 1 and press enter. Now it started to download the Kali Linux. So it will basically take more than 20 to 25 minutes to install the Kali Linux depending on your network. So I am choosing the default setting which is shown by the Kali Linux. So, so as you can see here, the default is no. So I'll just choose that option and press enter. So wherever it shows me to choose a setting, so I'll go with a default setting which is shown by this package. So now you can see that it is trying to download the root FX file. So it will take time to download.
So as you can see that it successfully downloaded the root fs file and now it is trying to extract that file. So it will take some time to extract this file. So we will wait till it extract the file. So after the files are extracted successfully, you will see this which says Kali Net Hunter is successfully installed for Tunmax. So now if you want to run the Kali Linux, you can run the Kali Linux in a CLI mode which is a command line interface mode or if you want to run Kali Linux in a graphical user interface, then we have to set a Kex password. With the help of the Kex app, we can run the Kali Linux in a graphical user interface and type nethunter kex password and press enter now we have to set the password so i'll choose it as 1234 it says that the password need to be at least six character so i'll choose it as 1234 1234 and press enter and verify the password So after the Kex password is set, now we have to start Kali Linux in a GUI mode. So for this type this command and press enter. Even you can see this command over here and also it says what this command do. So once you type the command press enter. So you can see that it is trying to start a NetHunter KEX server. So as you can see here it gave us the port. And remember this port and open the NetHunter KEX app. So in this click on this add icon. So in the connection setting we need to change the port which is 5901. And after that just press save. So now let us try to open the KEX server. So as you can see it is asking us the password. So type the password which we set. So after you type just press confirm. So as you can see here, it successfully installed Kali Linux in our Android phone. So if I open the applications, so as you can see, it shows all the applications that are present in our Kali Linux. So by this way, we can use our Kali Linux. So now if you want to stop the Kali Linux, just go back to your Termex. So in this, just type nethunter kex stop and press enter so it will stop our kali linux so if i go back and show you so as you can see here it says connection failed so by this way we can use kali linux in any android phone